How to get started with Microsoft Excel? You have Microsoft Word, you have PowerPoint, you have the one for data pages, which is Microsoft Access, and then Microsoft Publisher and so on, including Microsoft Excel. So Excel is one of the software in the Microsoft Office suite. Any worksheet, or you like any spreadsheet on the physical surface, is just like a graph, a graph sheet. You see that? Okay, so you have horizontal lines and you have vertical lines. And the point where the horizontal line and the vertical lines meet, they create a certain square there, right? That square is called a cell. A cell. So if you look at the picture here, right here, you would see that here we are having A, B, C, D. Now, A bell box is called color. B bell box is also called what? Color. So all of that. And then, one, two, three. Now, one going this way is called a row. Okay, and two is a row, just like that. Now, in this picture, you see B, and then Philip, that there is a highlighted you know, space here, right? So the point where B and B are meeting, we call it a set. Okay, that space here. Is a cell. So that means that A1 is equally a cell, right? Okay, and B1 is equal to what? Now you see that we are calling names like A1, B1, and all that. That name you are hearing right now is called a cell address. Okay? So that's the address of the cell, the cell address. So as we progress, you would see that. I will be calling cell addresses. So don't get confused, right? So if I say cell address A3, then you're like, oh, what's that? Okay, so what it means is that I'm talking about the specific cell you know, that we are working in at that particular time. Okay, now let's move on. Now, spreadsheets have a lot of uses, like I said initially. And it is being used in the industry and in many other fields for storing data, for manipulating data, for comparing data, for planning, and for forecasting. Okay? So these are some uses generalized uses of spreadsheets or you like Microsoft Excel. Okay. Now, you know some of the major areas, or right? like major industry areas where spreadsheets would be used. So in the accounting area or in accounting field, you would have financial and non-financial institutions using Excel or spreadsheet. Now, it's better to use spreadsheet now because Excel is not the only spreadsheet application. There are other spreadsheet applications. For instance, Lotus 1, 2, 3, WPS also has got Excel, or sorry, um, spreadsheet applications. Okay, but because in this course we'll be focusing on Microsoft Excel, you'll be hearing me saying that one often. So if you get employed in KUSD, for instance, in the accounting sector of the university, then of course you should know how to use Excel. Right? So if you're employed in any of these institutions like that, over there, Bank of Ghana, wherever, Snake, and all that, anywhere you are employed, 
you typically should know how to use Microsoft Excel very well. If you go to a scientific environment, like let's say you're a biologist or you're an engineer or you're a pharmacist and so on, they all equally use spreadsheets. Now they can use it to calculate setting coefficients, you know, perform analysis on their data, and so on and so forth. So spreadsheets are very, very useful in almost all the working areas. Now, you can use them for graphical representation. So if you have data and you want people to appreciate how the data is or how it looks like, you can present them graphically. Now, you do that with charts like histogram, pie chart, and so on. Apart from that, now, database management. You can use Excel equally to work on your data, perform things like sorting, right? You can sort in ascending order or in descending order, or you sort by the type of value, okay? And you can filter, so on and so forth. You can play around with data very well in Excel. In fact, it's originally one of the tools that is widely used for data analysis. So there are a number of spreadsheet packages, like I mentioned initially. WPS has got a spreadsheet application in there, and this is one to three. And we are centralizing on Microsoft Excel for the sports. So the term spreadsheet is often used to refer to a computer program. Sometimes the same term is used to refer to the sheets on which the work is done. Now I'll show you what I mean by the sheets. Okay. Now to show you that, I will start the Microsoft Excel application. So you go to the start menu, and then you click on that, you will see all the applications that have been installed there, okay? Or another thing you can do is to bar Excel, and then Excel will pop up, okay? All right. So once you find the Excel application, then you click on it to open it. Now, this is what you see when you open an Excel workbook. Now, I use the word workbook because that's the name that is given to a new Excel file that you open. Is what? Now, in a workbook, you have sheets. So it's just like you have an exercise book and you have sheets in them. Okay? So you can have as many sheets as you want in an Excel workbook. This is what you see when you get your Excel workbook open. Now, to start up, you go to new, because of that piece, okay? And you will see blank workbook. Because you're starting afresh, you should click on the blank workbook. Now that opens a fresh workbook for you with blank sheets open. So you see the sheet is here. Later, we will learn about how to rename a sheet and how to reference a sheet. But now, it's important for you to look at it here that this is one sheet open. Now, I'm going to ask the gentleman to open another sheet. So to open another sheet, you see a plus sign right here. So you click on that. 
that gives you sheet number two. Okay? So you can do that again and again and again. Let's move on. Yes. So uh, the other day is asking what is the difference between the cell address and then the sheet one, sheet two, one, right? So this is the sheet name. Okay, is the name for the whole sheet. So it means that a sheet contains many cells. Is that right? So we have shown you how to start up an Excel workbook. And then we are seeing that a workbook may have several sheets. And a sheet may have several cells. And a cell has a cell address. A sheet has a sheet name. So we're going to show you three things. Number one, how to save a workbook. Number two, how to close. Number three, how to edit in the formula bar. So let's first start with saving a workbook. To save, you go to File. And you go to Save As. And then you should choose where you want the file to be saved. So if you go to this PC, it means your PC, right? At the time. And then what you can do is that you can double click on this PC. And that will open the dialog box for you. When you do double click, pop, pop, right? That opens the dialog box for you. And then now you can put a name. You give the workbook a name. Okay? So can you maximize that, please? Magnify. Okay, so that, there you go. So then you need a file name. You can say history. Then make sure that it is showing as Excel workbook. Okay? We click on save right now. It will save to the documents. It will save to the documents folder, right? So you can always browse where you want this folder to be, this file to be. So you can, if, if you think you want to leave it in the documents folder, you just click on save and by default it goes into the document folder. Otherwise, look at these folders here on the left pane. You can click on any of them that you want. Maybe you want to leave it on the desktop, you click on desktop. You want to leave it in the downloads, wherever. Just click on desktop first. Okay, so it changes to desktop. You see that one there? Then when you click on save, it makes it save on the desktop. Okay, so it's just like that. So now you choose where you want it to be. So let's say I was on the, in the document, this one. So it changes to documents, and I can save it. So now the workbook name is what? History. All right. So we should see history up there. Right? That's the workbook name. So that's how to save a workbook. Now you should remember the process. You go to files, you go to save us, you choose the directory, that's how we call it. You choose the directory, you name the file. Choose a file type, right? And then you say what? Save. Okay. That's it. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is closing the workbook. But before that, let us learn quickly how to edit in the formula bar. So we can go to a cell address A3. Go to cell address A3. Okay, no, maybe let's take D3 because it makes you guys see it better. So D3. So we are now at the cell address D3. So you go up there, you see that the address is what? D3. Okay. And then that is the formula bar on the right there. Now type value. 
Okay. Yes, the volume, no, maybe like, okay, anything is okay. Okay. And then press enter. Okay, so that how to get a volume in a cell. You type what you want and you press enter, right? And then it goes to the next cell. But if you want to make an edit of the word value, click in the cell. Make sure your case is at where you want. So don't open it. Okay, now come to the formula bar. Don't open it. Okay, so just do a click here. Just do a click, please. Okay, now backspace. So anything he does there appears in the cell. You see that? Okay, so backspace. Okay, so this is okay. And you press enter. Okay, so that is it. 